Hi everybody, welcome back to Just Dream Guide. Okay, so you guys know how this goes. Channel messages first. First and foremost, you guys, if you didn't see my testimony, see my testimony video. I'm telling y'all, I'm, I'm fired up, okay? You know, and I hope this can encourage somebody. Again, I'm not trying to be braggadocious. When I shine my light, I don't mean any harm. I just want you guys to know that you can do this. You got this too, all right? Don't take it as offense because some people will tell me that they're offended by things like that. Look, leave them out the conversation, okay? I'm going to tell you that right now. That's the first thing that's coming to my head is leave them out of the conversation, okay? You know, because you have 333, which is protection. I wrote that down yesterday. You're protected from anything and any harm in any circumstance or any situation. One of the biggest things over the last few days my cats have been doing, they've been sleeping next to me real, real tight. And I'm like, ooh, protection. And then I keep waking up. Within the last three nights, I've woken up at 333 which is protection. Your ancestors are guarding you. They're guarding your life, your dreams, your aspirations, okay? This is bigger than love. Love is the divine love is the purpose, okay? Because you have a purpose in life to come together, divine masculine and divine feminine. I say this all the time, y'all know this. Um, to come together for a divine purpose in life, to lead, okay? To lead people into happiness, joy, show people what real love looks like, okay? I'm seeing unexpected blessings for you guys, okay? Unexpected. It's just out of nowhere. So protect your vibe, protect your energy, protect your finances. Um, I'm here to protect your energy. Over the last few days, I've had to get rid of a lot of people, you know, just, you know, either they've left my life and I haven't cared or, you know, I've been like, mm, no. You know, because a lot of people, let me warn you, a lot of people, they'll come into your life and say, I like your vibe. I like what you do. I like... You know, I like how it feels to be around you. Okay, even though we have unlimited power through source, look, y'all, we don't have to be overly sharing our energy. So protect your energy at all costs, okay? Because you're going to need this energy for these blessings that are coming in that I'm seeing, okay? I'm hearing new businesses. I'm hearing new business, new business, new business. And then love is coming in. For a lot of you guys, union time, I'm not joking. Summertime is almost here. And union time is starting to you know, come into fruition for a lot of you guys. So protect your energy, especially against karmic energies, okay? Um, I know that the summertime, I also keep saying, and I'm seeing this right now, lots and lots and lots of disasters, okay? So be with the one you love and not just the one that you could be with. Some people are out of, you know, convenience with other people, but it's not about convenience when stuff like an earthquake hits, which just happened in California. Um, I was online with this lady. She was... Uh, preparing for a typhoon okay you guys like sometimes you got to understand that love is love and love conquers all it's not about what your family thinks it's not about um convenience or complacency it's about you being in the place that father wants you to be in at all times okay so that he can bless you you can't just catch a blessing and you're not in the outfield ready to catch it okay so that's really 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 important i'm hearing that divine masculine is trying to find a way out a safe way out i don't know why it's safe okay but safe way out He's trying to find a safe way out from unwanted relationships and unwanted friendships, not just the karmic situation, but I'm seeing unwanted friendships as well, because a lot of this stuff, Divine Masculine is realizing is not serving them, okay? Divine Feminine, I feel like you've gotten rid of a lot of karmic situations and relationships and families and friend members, but be careful if they try to come back in. I know we passed retrograde and all of that. It's not always just about the the retrograde planet okay it's about maintaining your balance at that point okay because you still have to be that example for divine masculine so divine feminine you have to maintain those boundaries when old family members want to come back and say can i borrow or you know or come back and, and have something to say negatively about you or you know or try to tell you that your union is not going to come in say safe away from boundaries okay safe safe I keep hearing that word safe today, okay? So make sure you safe yourself. Both divine masculine and divine feminine. Be careful, okay? Because people are going to want your energy at this time. You're vibing on a high rate. And people are going to want to say, hey, you know, I like, how you, I like your vibe. Come hang out with me. Look, you don't have time. You do not have time, divine masculine or divine feminine. You do not have time to just dry hang out with anybody right now. You're on a mission. And to be on a mission... Oh, that goes back into my testimony. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to put me in this because it's not about me right now. To be on a mission means to sacrifice, you know, time to do other things. You don't have time to sit around and play video games. You don't have time to sit around and gossip. You don't have time to sit around and just eat. 
spend money, spend money, spend money. It's not even just about making money. I'm hearing that it's not about money because it's, it's never about money with me. It's all about love. And through love, you find financial blessings. Through love, you gain, okay? You gain everything through love. So understand that it's not you not loving your family or not loving your friends or even if you're with a karmic partner, like it's not that you don't have love for them by not being around them. It's just that you need to protect that energy for something else. Something big is coming for you guys. I see it and I feel it. And I know union is coming in too. So Divine Masculine, I feel like this karmic tie that you have with this karmic, a lot of, like I say, a lot of you guys, it's the Divine Masculine. For a small percentage, it's the Divine Feminine that you're waiting for your feminine to come back, you know, from a a lesson. Okay, let's put it like that. Um, I'm seeing that, you know, you're going to find your way out if you haven't already. Things are moving forward for you, okay? Everything is moving forward, okay? So, that's what I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for your time. Let's go into today's messages. I'm excited, okay? Thank you. Hi, everybody. Okay, welcome, welcome, welcome back. Okay, general messages for today, okay? Y'all know how we do it. Situation, action, outcome, okay? So, what's the situation today for the collective father? What is the situation? What's the situation? Oh, four of pentacles. Yikes. Y'all, protecting your energy. Holding back all your, this is money, time, energy. Keep it to yourself, you guys. I am not making this up. This is not, ooh. I love this because sometimes it feels like sometimes it's just for me, but I'm like, no. This, this is a collective message, okay? Indeed it is, okay? I know, I know. I'm telling you my intuition is, ooh, it's on fire these days, y'all. But protecting yourself, okay? And then you see women, okay? A lot of people I've noticed um, before I got off TikTok last week, we're starting to wear head things. Protecting your head. Protect your neck. I keep saying that spiritually. Protect your energy. Somebody just wants to hang out and waste your time, do not do it. Somebody wants to waste your time on the phone, do not do it. You got bigger things to do right now. Money, financially. Protect who you're giving your money to. Specifically what you're doing with your money. Like, you know... Don't be out there partying. Don't be out there, okay, you get a little money and now all of a sudden you want to do something big, have a party or something like that. Protect, protect, protect. Oh my gosh, that's so crazy because I'm getting that so clearly. And your energy, like I keep saying, protect your energy. Just because somebody wants to hang out and you got a good vibe, you don't have to hang out with them because of good vibes. You don't have to sit and watch TV with them because you have good vibes. Who cares? What's the action, Father? Ooh, because that seems like an action. But what's that action, Father? What is the action? <laughs> For the collective, Father, what's the action? Oh, it flipped over. Four of Swords. Okay, healing. Taking that time out to sit with self, okay? Resting. Renewal. That's why you can't sacrifice your energy right now. You're about to be on go. So that means right now you got to be on slow. Slow it down sometimes. I know, I know a lot of times we want to see the, we see the finish line and we want to go, okay, you know, but no, slow and steady wins the race. So it's time to take a rest, okay? Rest and renewal. I'm hearing relaxation too, okay? So it's time to find something that's relaxing to do and not something that necessarily has to put you on go all the time. Outcome, Father, what's the outcome for the collective? I wanted to turn up, there we go. Ooh, Queen of Cups. The outcome is that nurturer, that person. Okay, I love this depiction of Queen of Cups here too because she's just like, she surrenders to his will. She surrenders to what the world and the universe wants to give to her. Using your intuition, not forcing anything, okay? Being compassionate, being understanding about certain situations and certain things right now, okay? Bottom of the deck, energy is Six of Cups, okay? So the energy flowing throughout this is your soulmate connection, your past life, past connection. I want to say past life connection, so that could be significant as well. Also, I'm hearing kids could be involved, but I'm hearing with your divine person. So if you do have kids with somebody that you know is not your divine counterpart, this is not what I'm speaking on. I'm speaking on you know, past memories that make you want to have a child, or if you do have a child with your soulmate, your, your twin, whatever you want to call that family, okay? And then I'm hearing be childlike, be playful about all of this, okay? You're probably in reflection a lot with the Six of Cups being here, but it's okay to be in reflection right now. Slow it down, rest, 
and think about what you want in life. Think about the person you want to be with in life and think about little you, past you, and what you need from being a child, especially if there are kids involved or especially if there are kids that you want in your future. So that's what I have for you guys today. I hope this information helped and blessed them. And again, don't forget to protect your energy, your finances and everything. But the biggest action is to rest, rest from everyday life. Okay. And let go, let go, surrender. That's what I have for you guys next video. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Okay, so this is your combined love reading. Okay, combined. Okay, let's see what's going on. Let's just kind of quick tap in, see what's been going on in the collective's love life, Father. First thing that comes out is drama queen. I told y'all, they don't want to be with this person anymore. Your divine masculine, or take it how it resonates, but your divine masculine does not want to be with this person anymore. And it's starting to kick back. It's starting to be an uproar in the household, okay? I just heard this house is not a home, but I'm hearing that this, that's how your person feels right now. Your person, divine masculine feels like, um, what's that song where he says, are you gonna be in love with me? Are you gonna be, say you gonna be? Are you gonna be? Cause wherever he's at right now or whatever she may be doing, he may be doing whatever, take it how it resonates. It's Dramaville, it's Drama City, okay? It's not something that they want anymore. And so they're saying, do you still love me? Are you gonna be? there when I when I'm finished up with this drama over here. It's driving me crazy to think that my baby wouldn't be. That's in my head right now. They want to have a talk, okay? They want to have a conversation with this drama queen. They want to get on the same page about this because neither one of them are happy right now. It's just not working out, okay? And like I keep saying all this, I'm hearing karmic justice, karmic debt. It's being cleared out now. Things have happened already. Things have happened, you know. They're enraged. They're ready to explode, okay? Divine Masculine is like, man, you know, they're kind of blaming their, themselves for getting themselves into this. But I feel like still I see the growth. I still see somebody, like, really elevating themselves, understanding that um, they have to see what they don't want in order to see what they really truly want out of life, you know? Sometimes we have to be put in those situations where... Just like the, you you got to see it rain sometimes to understand and appreciate the sun. All right? We got a card that fell. Mirrored souls, okay? The the reconnect, okay? Twin flame connections are coming back in. I keep saying that. And the bottom of the deck energy right now is soulmate. I'm not making this up, you guys. It's, it's about to come back. And I understand why that makes this other person jealous, mad, angry. You know? Because at this point, it's just possession. At this point, it has nothing to do with love. At this point, it's just they don't want you to, they don't want the divine masculine to come back to divine feminine. At this point, it's just upset. Okay? Yeah, fake pretending and um, denial. That's what your, per your, the, your person is dealing with. Divine masculine, we're dealing, um, the divine feminine is dealing with, um, you know, you being in a karmic situation where this karmic is in denial and faking and pretending and trying to say, well, this is love or it could be love, but you can't fake the fuck. You can't fake love, okay? If it ain't happening right now, if it ain't somebody that you would definitely take a bullet for, spend the rest of your life with, do all of that with, you can't force that, okay? No matter how much you care about that person, no matter how much that person cares about you, divine masculine is running. They'll be running soon. They're avoiding their emotions on this one. Ooh, I'm hearing some of them are going to just ghost them, but other people are just going to have to just deal with the conversation and have a clean tie severance, okay? Some some divine masculines are going to just say, okay, this couldn't work out. It's not going to work out. Let's figure this out. You know, they might have gotten their money caught up with them. They might have gotten families caught up with them, but they're like, look, this just has to stop, okay? Okay. Um, and they want to be back with their twin, okay? Their divine masculine wants to be back with divine feminine. And so it's just getting ugly over there, okay? So, you know, both of y'all, divine masculine and feminine, are looking back at the past. I told you that, looking back at the memories and things like that, really wanting to be with each other. But you got this forbidden love situation here, and it's causing a lot of partying, okay? Lots and lots of partying. But this 
this to me is letting me and feeling like the karmic is the one who's doing the most partying so that's why it's so much rage in the household that's why it's so much drama going on right now that's why it's so much upheaval of emotions instead of it being some kind of peaceful split so if somebody's been drinking or partying or drugging or anything like that again it goes into them being just possessive that's big ego right there instead of letting go of divine masculine because that's just not your person and i have to say this all the time it's not our job as a divine feminine or a divine masculine to be mad at the karmic because they're gonna find love okay they just haven't found themselves yet which at that point you know you just gotta pray for it the bible said pray for your enemies and i mean i'm a strong believer in that yep divine masculine feels like you're genuine in love to them you're perfect for them you're perfect and this other situation is not. This other situation is threatening. This other situation is embarrassing. It's everything that they don't want to see in a person. And I feel like they're in hiding with this person at this point, too. They're not even showing themselves or their face with the family or anything that they used to do. They just don't want this anymore, okay? Give me two more cards to wrap this up, Father. Yeah, somebody's moving out and becoming single. Divine Masculine is becoming single and moving out single unattached getting out there okay and sold they're moving and i like i said divine feminine has been waiting on this move but not waiting and, and waiting if that makes sense i feel like divine feminine you've been doing the work the spiritual work you've been growing up you've been focusing on yourself again i keep telling y'all and advising y'all even though i keep saying the summertime is significant for a lot of couples to come back into union these twin flame connections stay in your lane and keep your eyes on your your prize in your lane okay because this has happened naturally. Divine Masculine is getting out of this. They're going to be single and moving soon. They're going to unattach themselves to the situation because they really want to be with their twin, their mirrored soul, the person that gets them. That's what I'm hearing, the person that gets them. Not only that, they desire you. Like, they they lust after you a lot. You turn them on more than anybody in this world, so that's what's propelling them to come forward, okay? So, again, Divine Feminine. Keep your eyes on the prize. Stay in your lane. This connection is coming back in. Divine Masculine, um, you know, just, whew, I can just say like that. Just breathe. That's what I just heard. Just breathe, okay? Because the opportunity is going to come that you can have a safe getaway without having to be so harsh about it. Because the karmic is not an acceptance of this reconnect. They don't understand this connection yet. They, they still don't. They still want to be this... They want to be this for you, and they're not. They want to be the person that you lust after and that you want for the rest of your life. But this is a karmic situation, so let it go. They can't let it go. You have to be the provider, the protector, the man, the masculine in this situation, and let it go. So that's what I have for you guys. That's, that was a lot, y'all. That was a mouthpiece, but I hope that information helped and blessed. Okay, you guys? Let's go into the next video for the next message. Thank you, guys. Okay, hi everybody. This is the Love Oracle deck. Okay, Love Oracle. Let's do a quick tag up here too. I don't know how long it's been since I've done this one, but Love Oracle deck. Let's just get a few cards from this one. First card that comes is heart with the key. Oh, you're the key to your person's heart, okay? Divine masculine, divine feminine. Y'all go together real bad. <laughs> That's what I just heard. That's so funny. Y'all are the key to each other's hearts. No longer is divine masculine or divine feminine looking for any other options. They they want what fits them, okay? So you guys are in the same place. Both of you all are in the same place when it comes to this love connection, okay? Next card is X, breakup separation, okay? There's, I'm telling y'all, this, this karmic situation is done with X. And some of it is going to be kind of harsh. So don't be surprised if there's a little backlash, a little gossip out of it or something like that. That's what I'm saying is like gossip from it. Okay. Um, Cause set, you have a, both of you guys have outdated thinking though. Some of you guys, like I said, I keep hearing that song. Are you gonna be in love with me? Say you gonna be? Are you gonna be? Y'all don't think that this is coming in. Some of y'all are like, man, cause it's been forever. This is for a long connection right here. And some of y'all are like, man, is it really going to come in this time? I mean, I've heard this all before. It's okay, though. Have the faith. Keep up the faith. And understand that this time with the karmic, I mean, I think some of the people went back to the karmic to understand that this is over, over. So don't be in the outdated thinking of thinking that, okay, yeah, right. They're going to come back and then they're going to go back. And then they're going to come back or try to come back. Yeah, because your person is only focused on you, okay? And you're only focused on them. 
sunglasses, watching, looking, okay? They're focused. They trying to pretend like they not. They trying to be cool about it, but they focus real, real, real hard on you. Trying to be cool. That's like somebody watching you. I'm seeing somebody like watching you in the club with glasses on, so you really can't see it because it's so dark, right? You can only see glimpse of light, but you'll never see their eyes wander to you. They're looking for you. They're looking forward to being with you right now. Give me two more cards, Father. One, two. Uh, yep, they're looking forward to being with you. The phoenix in the wedding ring comes out, okay? Yeah, I can make this up, you guys. Out of the ashes, out of the dust, okay? There's a new beginning here, okay? There is a new phase, rekindle, renew, okay? And wedding rings, your person is looking at you like that in that state, but it doesn't seem like it, it doesn't feel like it because like I said, they trying to be cool about it with these sunglasses on, okay? In the clubs, like, you know, they watching your every move, okay? Because they got a wedding on their mind. They really want this true commitment, okay? Bottom of the deck energy is seduction, okay? There might be some third-party stuff, but they're working on getting out of that because they're working towards getting towards their happiness, all right? Yup. And then I'm hearing that they're lusting after you, too. They want this so bad. Like, not just to be with you, you know, in a physical sense. They want to be with you in a physical sense, if that makes sense, before, you know. Y'all know I don't like saying too much on the internet because I'm not trying to get banned. But y'all get what I'm saying. You know what I mean? If you know, you know. Anyways, that's what I have for you guys for this. Okay, let's go to the next video for the next message. Hi, everybody. Okay, so for some reason, I'm getting Priestess of Light, okay? I don't really use this deck too often, but Priestess of Light, okay? So I'm just trying to see what Father wants to tell you guys, okay? So um, I'm going to go Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, and then I'm just going to pull one for each to see what you want to say to each other since it's been so long since I've been on here, right? Divine Masculine, Father, immediately it comes out, oof, oof. You are trying this time. You are not playing about this goal that you have for your feminine. It says achievement, effort plus intention, okay? You are absolutely putting in the work now. You're intended. You know, you have good intentions this time. It's not that in and out energy anymore that I'm feeling, especially for this collective right now. I'm feeling like somebody's really, really trying, okay? And if you're not trying, that's a sign for you to be trying. Like, don't just say do action speak louder than words okay but i'm feeling like you're getting that right now i'm feeling like you're you're like having to prove yourself at this point because you're over talking about what you're gonna do you just about that life i just heard about that life that's so funny <laughs> okay give me one card what do you want to say to your divine feminine <laughs> six of wands i become i'm becoming confident in myself because of our connection okay so you're walking in victory right now you are confident no matter what it takes, you know that it's going to happen for you. I feel like you might still be having sleepless nights and things like that. But at the end of the day, you still know that this is your goal. It's like somebody in school. You're like, I'm going to pass this. I'm going to pass this test. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm going to study as hard as I can and bring what I can to the table, okay? Divine Feminine, Father. Give me Divine Feminine. Balance, okay? Stability came. It came this way. So balance, it says stability, standing firm. Didn't I just talk to you guys about boundaries and standing firm on your boundaries, okay? You have finally found balance. Now, again, when I compliment or applaud either one of you, divine masculine or divine feminine, this is not to say somebody is superior or inferior. This is to say that you both are coming into alignment and balance within self, okay? It's not a competition. It is not a competition or a race to see who does it first or who, how they do it or anything like that. But divine feminine, you have definitely found balance. I talked about that in the the channel messages today okay so give me one what do you want to say to your divine masculine the hermit i'm learning to go within for the answers okay yes you're finding stability within self you're not looking outside anymore for the answers okay you're going within you're actually finding that balance within yourself to see more of what you need to see inside okay so I love this for you guys, okay? Bottom of the deck energy is earth ma magic. <laughs> Fearlessness, removing obstacles, okay? You guys are both removing these obstacles in your life. Again, like I say, delays and blocks are taken. They're uplifted, okay? All these delays and the blocks that were in your life at once. And some of them was you getting in your own way, both divine masculine and feminine. You are no longer getting in your own way. Earth magic. Y'all are coming together for y'all's purpose. And I love this white horse thing. It's kind of like, you know, at some point you were looking for a savior, but you're saving yourself. 
Ooh. from a lifetime of not being with your person. Now you're like, look, we got to we gotta come together. We got to make this work. And it's so funny because y'all are separately, actively doing this, okay? So I love to see that. Uh, victory. That's what I have for you guys, okay? Let's go to the next video for the next message. Thank you. Before we go into our last message, our last video of today, I don't know why, but we're going to go into these karmic messages, okay, real quick, because I don't like to get into the karmic energy, but your divine masculine wants to say something to this karmic right now, so let's get into it, okay? Give me three cards, because we're not going to dwell on this too long. One, two, three. I need to find myself without you, is what they want to say. This is your person talking to the karmic. I need to find myself without you. They also want to say, I don't want to hurt you, but I don't want to lie anymore. And that means telling you the truth. That's what I've been saying so far this whole time too, is that it's, it's like somebody's been living a life for so long that it's hard for them to, they feel like they're going to hurt the karmic, you know, but they will find their own love soulmate, their own person. It's more hurtful for you to sit in a situation and give them hope. And for some of you guys, I'm still seeing Divine Masculine. Y'all are going to be cutting this off because it hurts so much to have this conversation, okay? And then one card fell. It says, I can't keep doing this with you, okay? So some of you guys are going to feel like that you are going to hurt them. So in order to not hurt them, you're like, okay, let me just move around, you know, instead of having this hurtful conversation. But I will encourage you guys to have the the courage and the forwardness to come forward and just say this is not going to work there may be crying there may be tears there may be you know uh anger i'm seeing anger too but it's not right to lead a person on or to avoid them okay so we're out of this point of childishness where people deserve closure and real closure you know you're not stepping out to come back in you're stepping out for good so people deserve closure in the karmic they do deserve closure i mean they're not a bad person i know sometimes people the view the karmic as a bad person because over the course of separation the karmics they do some crazy things to keep you know, your person under bound. Some people do spells. Some people do, um, you know, spread rumors. Some people just do all kinds of stuff to keep your person bound because they are possessive instead of being loving, okay? But that doesn't still make them a bad person. I still don't see that as them being a bad person, okay? They're just allowing their ego and the devil to use them, all right? Let me get two cards for Divine Masculine Silence. Oh, three came. Well... Let's see what the Divine Masculine wants to tell Divine Feminine, okay? Through the silence of this. I'm afraid that I won't be what you expect me to be. So that's what's been avoiding, causing them to avoid coming in. They're afraid that they, they won't meet your expectations. But um, because they had to be so low level in this situation with the karmic that they're like, man, this is going to require me to step my game up. So that's just a little bit of fear. I'm not hearing that loudly. So I feel like that's just a little bit of fear and a little bit of illusions that people create for themselves because fear is just illusions, okay? It's not real. It's things that we tell ourselves to prevent ourselves from being great sometimes, all right? It says, why do you want me, okay? So your divine masculine is asking divine feminine, like, why do you even want me, okay? I've hurt you. I've done this. I've done that. I've done things you know, that I'm not necessarily proud of. And I'm hearing that they're like, man, you know, why do you still even want me? But they're working on worthiness. I'm seeing a lot of divine masculines get the courage to work on themselves, to understand that they are worth it, you know, because their worthiness used to be cockiness. It used to be, oh, I'm that person. Everybody wants me. Now it's like, you know, they've definitely turned that down but they turn it too down remember it's about a balance so it's not about completely killing ego because you have to be confident when you walk into a room but you don't have to be such an inflated ego either okay so they're working on that and it says i didn't mean to block you and now i don't know how to undo it all but i'm working it out okay so last but not least your divine masculine wants to say that they don't want to keep you blocked or keep you out of the situation they're working on figuring this whole thing out okay you know, at this point, they blocked you because of this karmic connection. And now they're opening up to say, well, what can I do and what can I say? Because now I got to keep them blocked because now I'm in this. But once they get out of this, you will no longer be blocked. I didn't mean to block you, but things just happen that way. I had to kind of protect my little thing over here. And now they're realizing that that was, that was silly. <laughs> You know, and don't antagonize them, okay, on that note, because we're only human and we only go through these things because we think we're doing the right things. 
And it's not necessarily, I mean, nobody's perfect, okay? So that's what I have for you guys. Let's go into the last message for today, all right? Thank you so much. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Okay, so you guys know we always end this on a love note, a love tip. So let's see what the love, we're, we're, I'm doing an angel deck right now. So let's see what the love tips Father has for both Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. Starting with Divine Masculine. Let's get two for each. There's one. Divine Masculine, Father. Divine Masculine, what does Divine Masculine need to know right now, love? Two. Ah, it says release your ex in deception. It's talking about the karmic divine masculine. It's saying release your ex, okay? It says the time has come to clear your energy. Release your ex. Divine masculine. I can't make this stuff up. This has been throughout the whole reading, okay, you guys? I know what I'm talking about. I mean, I don't know, but I know. I have, you know, I'm not trying to brag on me. I'm trying to brag on how he provides this gift. And it's amazing. So all credit due to him. Father. Deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. And that's why it's time to release them. Somebody's deceiving you, Divine Masculine. And the karmic is, that's what. They're deceiving you. They're doing things and saying things. I'm hearing emotional manipulation. I'm hearing cheating. I'm hearing all kinds of things. Your person is, that person is not your person, okay? Your person is you know, waiting on you to heal from all of this drama, okay? So, Divine Feminine, Father, what does Divine Feminine need to know and love today? Wow. That was incredibly clear, Divine Masculine. I'm sorry, I'm just going to say it. Divine Feminine, Father, one. Divine Feminine, Father, two. Oh, that one almost hit me in the face. Romantic feelings. And it says getting to know each other, okay? So you're going to be getting to know your divine masculine again. Because remember, if, especially if this has been your whole reading and they stepped out or now they're back and are about to come back, it says getting to know each other. And then the romantic feelings that you feel about your person are still true and real, okay? They still hold a lot of truth, okay? Don't go, oh, well, they, they wanted to do this and they wanted to do that. First and foremost, I've never been that type of reader. I'm not the type of reader that's going to advise you to go, no, you know, they did this and they did that and, you know, screw them and they can have them and all of that extra stuff. That's not what love is, okay? Love is definitely going within and forgiveness, okay? So it says getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens, okay? So that means you can also talk to them about your pain and your hurt without being overly emotional, without being angry. You can actually get to know them because this is a new person. They've evolved just like you evolved. Understand that. So if you can look at your evolution, you have to also give them credit for theirs, okay? And that doesn't make them perfect and that doesn't make you perfect, but honor that that they're new and you have to get to know that new person and romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring all right you do still feel something for them there's nothing that stops love okay you can't just say oh but they were over there and da -da -da -da, so i don't care for them no more you know they could be gone for life that's just a lot of bs people preach i don't like that okay i don't know why i went off like that but i don't like that let's get one for both of you guys father give me one for both one card for both Divine Masculine and Feminine together. Heart to heart conversations. This is coming in, okay? That's why I'm saying be heartful, be heartfelt, come from the heart. Don't come from pain or anger or anything like that. Release that before your person gets here. Because this heart to heart conversation has to be pure, genuine, friendly. Be a friend, okay? Not just a person that just gets run over or anything like that. Maintain your boundaries. But still, speak from the heart, okay? Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. So if you are feeling pain, just understand that you have to, you, you've learned a different way to discuss pain instead of going off on pain. Like, oh, you hurt me. Da -da -da -da. You know, there are different tactics. Well, you know, I felt this when you did this. How can we move past this? Heart-to-heart -heart conversations, okay? Doesn't have to be muddling up the past either. Some things we just gotta let go of, okay? Just to be real with you guys. Some things we just can't keep going over and over and over and over and over and over again. If something happened two years ago, a year ago, let it go. You're only burdening yourself with this, okay? And if there's an apology that needs to be had, 
say that something happened and it was real big and all you need to hear is I'm sorry or I apologize or it didn't have to be that way. You're right. I, I'm, I didn't mean to hurt you. Genuinely meaning those things, okay? But anyways, heart to heart conversations. That's what I'm going to leave this reading today because I feel like it's beautiful, okay? Just be patient, all right? And remember to protect your energy at all times. And that means protecting it from any karmic situations or people or places or things. Protect your finances right now. Protect, protect. And if you're a reader or anything like that, remember, protect your neck right now because things are getting wild. <laughs> Up until union time, things are getting wild, okay? It's not that I'm not doing my hair. It's just that I'd rather protect my neck, okay? I don't like to go to sleep and be tossed and turned around because somebody wants to throw stuff my way. Protect yourself, okay? And I'm here too. If somebody invites you anywhere, protect your time. More than anything, protect your time, okay? Um, this is an opportunity, Divine Feminine. It's not an opportunity for you to go find somebody else while they get it together. It's time for you to keep that energy to yourself. Divine Masculine, again, same thing. This is not an opportunity for you to go find somebody else to kick it with. That means protect yourself, okay, and your time. That's what I have for you guys. If any of this information helped or blessed, well, I hope it all did. But, um, and worth waiting for it just came up, okay? I'm not going to read any more cards, okay? But it's all going to be worth the wait. Um, if anybody needs any assistance, you know, through this, okay? I am now open for bookings again. To book, go to justdreamguide.com. Book a personal private reading. Thank you so much for your time as usual. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. As usual, I appreciate y'all's time because sometimes these things get along, but y'all rock with me and I love it. Thank you for your support as usual. See y'all next time. Hopefully tomorrow, you know, I got all this energy today. Thank you guys again, too, for your prayers and for your everything that's been helping me get through, like, you know, some of the worst times and even some of the best times. A lot of blessings been coming my way, like I said. So I appreciate y'all's prayers and things like that. And I just, you know, appreciate the how y'all guard me, too. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.